YouTubers. This is a video about using local honey for allergies. If you have allergies, especially to seasonal pollen, uh, local honey is something you can use to help you with that. It's just like allergy shots. Um, bees make honey and they make it from the pollen that's found locally, which if you're allergic to it would be the exact pollen that's bothering you. And and when I say it's like allergy shots, you know how when you get allergy shots, it's a little bit of what it is that you're allergic to to build up your immune system and slowly over time it starts working better and better and better and then you're finally immune to it. Well, that's how the honey works. Um, because they're making the honey from the local pollen, it has a small amount in it, so you take a small amount every day and eventually it's supposed to cure you of your allergies. Now this is an experiment. My BFF and I have been talking about getting local honey for a while and um, couldn't find it and we wanted to try it. We had both read about this and um, it's not been pasteurized, it hasn't been heated and we needed to find um, a beekeeper locally as close to our location as possible. So the closest place we could find was about a um, half hour away and he doesn't sell it. He puts these stickers on it. Um, for his family, he gives it out as gifts, see what the guy, she found him. And um, what he really is, is a bee um, pest removal guy. And he has his own hives in his backyard, and I'll show you a picture of the one that I took, um, one of the ones he had. Um, it actually, well, I'll tell you about that when I get to that, but anyway. I took this picture in the bee removal guy's backyard. He had a couple different hives down below, and this was an owl's nest that he had high up in a tree in his backyard. And because he had some beehives, um, they actually invaded the owl's nest, and you can see them there. I don't know if you can see that right in the middle of the picture. They totally invaded it and took over the nest. But they're good bees. They're not Africanized bees, so we're okay there. So there's two different types of honey because depending on um, what season it is, there's different flowers that are blooming, of course, and so the honey turns out looking different. This one's a very dark one, has kind of a licorice taste, and this one's more like your regular honey, but we tasted like the regular honey from the store, and this honey, and oh my gosh, what it, I mean, like, okay, so compared it to this kind of honey, and what a difference! Oh. So we got a couple jars to do our experiment with and there's some articles that I found. Um, let me put this over here so you can see the consistency of the honey. There's some articles that I found that I'll link to um, where we got the information about how much to take and apparently it should be two to three tablespoons. Um, but first you want to just try a little bit to make sure that you're not super, super allergic because if you're super allergic your, your eyes will um, swell up and all that stuff. Oh, by the way, I painted my nails because I was so getting so embarrassed with this bruised nail here. It was looking worse and worse. I did that on the first day of summer. And autumn, Autumn's Magic actually inspired me with the color. And I think it's pretty well covered, except you can still see the dent where I smashed it in the drawer. Yeah, that, that was a fun day. But anyway, so... You want to just take like a quarter of a teaspoon the first day to make sure you're not going to have some severe allergic reaction to it. And then um, it's just, oh my God, it's so yummy. It's so good. Mm. Mm. You don't have to freeze it or anything because honey is a nat natural antibiotic. You can actually use it on wounds. People used to use it on wounds in Egypt instead of a Band-Aid. It would dry, they would wrap it with a little something instead of your Neosporin. I told my hub, instead of Neosporin, we're using this stuff from now on. And let me open up this. Okay, my cheese wide camera cut out on me before. Okay, so I was opening up this one, the darker one. And the guy, the, the bee guy, uh, pest control guy, was really nice to do this for us. He said, I don't usually sell it, I'm not supposed to, you know, I guess he needs a license or whatever. But it's a natural antibiotic and you don't have to freeze it um, because it kills everything naturally. You can just keep it on your shelves forever. And um, this one has crystals in it. 
and no, they're not crystals that I, that I put in for my collection. They're, some of you might already know when um, Honey gets older, um, especially this dark one for some reason has more of a tendency to do that because he had it in a big, 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 big jar with a huge crystal in the middle. It starts to solidify and all you have to do is heat it up and it liquefies again so it crystallizes, you know, because it's sugar. Um, but this one is yummy. Um, so I've been putting, I've been doing one tablespoon. Maybe I should be doing two. Um, maybe I will up it to two. Um, but they actually said two to three teaspoons, I think, in the article. So, and, and they did the experiments with their test subjects for six weeks. And so uh, I'll show you what the um, results were. They were good, obviously, which is why I'm going to try it. And um, so remind me to do a video, if I forget, in six weeks to see if it worked. Um, my allergies are sinus related and I've done all the testing, done everything, blood tests, um, skin tests and tried all kinds of different medications, natural, um, synthetics, prescriptions and nothing gets rid of my sinus headaches. Um, it might be food related, I kind of tend to think that it is but I thought I'd try this because it's easier than cutting out gluten out of my diet. I've tried doing it twice, it's so hard. I think that might be what it is, but if this does it, I'd much rather eat honey than take gluten out of my diet. That's all your pastas, your breads, all the fun stuff that I love to eat. So, okay, sorry if I've been blocking the camera with my hand. I just looked at the screen there. All right, so this is the consistency of the darker one, and it, again, was made with different pollens, so I might need to mix it up and use this one and that one and alternate them. But just thought it would be a good tip because I know a lot of people have allergies, something you might want to try. And I'll let you know how it works for me and my BFF because we're both doing it. And if it works, we're going to get more honey. Okay, love and light.